it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a reveal slash first impressions on a brand new piece that I just got in the mail a couple days ago. I've been dying to shoot a video and show it to you guys and hear what you think. Uh, this is not a planned purchase. <laughs> this was one of my, my very few impulse buys, but it was kind of brought on because I have a special occasion event happening this weekend and it's kind of semi-formal slash formal and I realized that pretty much any bag that I had in my collection that I had used in the past for more special occasions were now sold. <laughs> so I really don't have a special occasion bag left in my collection. So I just thought, you know, I'll go to the mall and pick up something, you know, basic, inexpensive. But at the same time, I started browsing eBay and Fashion File and a few other places to just see if maybe I could find something that wasn't too crazy expensive that would be a nice addition to my wardrobe and to my collection. And so anyway, I did find a piece and this piece, and I did end up getting it on eBay. I got it from a very reputable seller and I will link the seller's information down below. And obviously the first thing I did when I got it was get it authenticated and it's definitely authentic. But this little bag is one, it is a Chanel piece, but it's not one you hear, ever hear anybody talk about. I've never even heard of it before this. There are no YouTube videos on it right now other than this one. <laughs> and there is actually only a little bit of information on the purse form. It is a bag that is not part of their regular collection. It comes out in special limited edition collections. And so yeah, without much further ado, I will show you the bag. I'll also show you the measurements, uh, show you what fits, do a mod shot, and compare it to my walk. We are talking about this adorable little tiny Chanel small clutch. Now this was from the fall 2015 collection. I did get it new without tags. And um, it is the velvet, if you can kind of see in that light, it is a quilted velvet with the gold hardware. There's the back again, it's got the quilts all over. I don't know if you can see it. It is nighttime here. I've been crazy busy. Um, the only time I have to film is at night, so I do have some lights and that's why there's so much glare. So bear with me. But anyway, yes, this bag is just adorable. It has a long detachable chain and the clips on inside. I'll show you that in a minute. But I really do like that it detaches so that you can actually just carry this as a little clutch. So anyway, first thing I'm gonna do is show you the dimensions of the bag. I'm sorry, I dropped my tape measure. <laughs> Here we go. This guy, little guy, is only about six and a half inches across. And it's about three and a half inches high, and it's about an inch and a half wide. Now, if you're looking for this bag and you want to make sure you check the measurements on it because the older versions before 2015, maybe 2014, were made for our smaller phones. This is made to be kind of a phone holder, add your necessities, and that's all you need. So the older ones are definitely shorter. Some of them are even like an inch shorter. So make sure you check that if you're looking for this bag. So anyway, uh, let me show you what the bag is like in the inside. Again, we have the double CC lock not lock, but um, right there. It's got a magnetic closure. Mine still has the blue tape on this part. And then inside, you've got one pocket right here. And on this side, it says Chanel right there. And the interior, in the middle, you have a zipper compartment with a little leather tab here. And then on this side, you have another pocket. This side says made in Italy, and then there is the hologram sticker uh, on the bottom there. There are no card slots, there are no slip pockets, that's it. That's what you get. And at first when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, there's no way I'm going to be able to fit anything in this. Well, this was just such a dumb purchase. But when I started playing with it, I did find that you can fit, at least I can fit my necessities in it for a special occasion or a girls' night out something like that. So let me show you quickly what it holds. I am filming on my iPhone 6, but here is my case, and you will see that it just slides in here perfectly. I do not think the 6 Plus is going to fit. 
but the other ones, um, the smaller ones, definitely could, the five and older. What I will probably do with this is take a, a card holder. This is my Louis Vuitton card holder and fit that in the back. So that will have my ID and my credit card or debit card and some cash. Now, uh, the Chanel card holders, to my knowledge, are a little bit higher, are a little bit higher than the Louis Vuitton ones. They do have two card slots on one of the sides. When I looked at the measurements, I think it is a little bit taller and will stick up from the side of this bag. So you probably won't be able to use a Chanel one. But the other things that I can fit in here, and I'll put them inside this pocket. Oh, where did I put that? Oh, here it is. <laughs> uh, my car key will fit right in there. I'll always need, oh. Oh, I do have my, my authenticity card right in here. And for your reference, I don't want to show you all the numbers, but it is a 21 series. I'll just have that hologram sticker there. I can also fit in a lip product. I always need some kind of lip product. Um, probably want to make sure that it's not too big or a bulky one. But what I have there zips up perfect. And then it does close. It has that magnetic closure and it closes just fine. No bulkiness or anything. There are a few different ways you can do this. If you don't want to use a card holder and you just want to put your uh, your money and your credit card and debit card and ID inside this, the zipper pocket, then you can definitely do that. You can put your lip product and your car key, or you know, if you don't need a car key, you can put that on the other outside and then put all your money and your ID and all that on the inside. So for me, it does hold the necessities. And I want to do a real quick side-by-side -side comparison to my Chanel Walk. For those of you that probably have seen a million videos on these, so you don't need to, to, oh, hang on. There we go. So here's side-by-side -side with my Walk. The Walk looks huge compared to it. It is quite a bit bigger. Here it is in front. It's not much. It's about the same width. Main difference is just in height. And when I use my Walk, um, I usually put pretty much the same thing I just put in here in my walk. I use the credit card slots, I add my phone, my lipstick, and, um, and my car key. And that's what I use in my walk. And surprisingly, it all does fit in here. So one other thing I wanted to show you is that it does have that detachable chain. You can see right there, the hook. It's got hooks on both sides. So I really like that, that you can take it off and wear it as a clutch. So let me show you what it looks like on me. For reference, I'm taller. I'm about 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, I'm not giant by any means, but I'm obviously not wearing what I'm going to wear, um, wear out the other night. But here's what it looks like on me. I think it's really kind of cute. Imagine this in a cute little dress. What do you guys think? Is it just too small or does it work? So it definitely works crossbody because it's got that long chaps strap. Um, for a special occasion, I probably wouldn't wear a crossbody, but if I wore it out on a girl's night or something, I may do that. So yeah, um, if you're a little bit shorter than me and you think the strap might be too long, what I would probably do is just do some kind of a knot in the chain, and then you can wear it make it shorter with just that little knot. So there you go. This is my new little bag, and um, I, I'm, I'm, I think it's going to work. I'm going to wear it out on Saturday, um, give it a test run, and see what I think. And then if it works, then I'll be happy to add it to my collection because I, like everyone else here on YouTube, have love Chanel. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the funds to buy too many pieces, but I did get this one a good deal on this one. I believe the original price for these for these. Um, velvet ones was about $1,200. Um, the leather ones are more expensive right now. There's one on the Chanel website that is a reissue version, and it's got the little charms, and that one is just under $2,000. But I got mine for a little under $900, and again, brand in brand new condition. Um, no wear, absolutely at all, and it's still stickers still on it. So I thought for Chanel piece for under $1,000, I mean, you can't even get a Chanel wallet for, <laughs> for that price. I thought this was a good deal, um, but again, part of me is thinking, oh gosh, that much money for this, this tiny little bag. 
But anyway, I will be thinking this through and I wanted to share it all with you. So if you come across this bag, you have a little bit more information. And yeah, that's about all I have. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. I do, I'm going to be trying to do a lot more videos. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to leave your, your comments down below as I'm very interested in hearing what you have to say. All right, everybody, I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.